Hey guys, how are you going? Welcome back to the channel. Happy 2023. I hope you've all been well. I know it's been a little while since I've put up any content on the channel, but today we are changing that. So starting off, we have a chair from a company called Recess. They are based in Sydney, where I am, and they've been around since 2019, according to their LinkedIn. I've actually never heard of them before, but they reached out to me via email, asking me if I'd like to check out one of their ergonomic chairs, which I was you know, happy to say yes. Yeah, so I could check it out and review it for you guys. So if you enjoyed this content, don't forget to chuck it a like, get subscribed, and let's begin. Okay, so this is the box that turned up and straight away one thing I really like when I got this was the fact that they've put on the outside of the box here that it was made using old recycled boxes, comfy for the bum, even comfier for the planet. So I think that's pretty funny and it sounds like these guys have got a good sense of humour. Um, the other thing that it mentions is that after use this box is fully biodegradable, kinda on the planet. So, you know, once you've got everything out of it and you're able to assemble the chair, they're sort of encouraging you and they're wanting you to go ahead and recycle it so I can maybe turn into something else afterwards. Then on the side of the box, so the model that we actually got was the one that is the earth color. I believe it comes in black and blue as well, but this is earth, which is like orange for the actual chair, the bucket that you sit in, and then white for the legs. So this is the pro chair, it goes for about $445. And you can see here as well that it wants you to do it with two people, put it this way up to get it out, and then you know make sure you don't leave it in the rain. But overall, I was actually expecting this box to be a lot bigger. It's actually not that big compared to some of the other chairs that I've actually seen and how they come already sort of partially assembled. But this one here, not too big at all. And I actually think for $445, and from what I've read online, it's actually a pretty reasonable price. So what I'll do now is I'll get everything out of this box. I'll go ahead and put the gimbal on a chair here, get it assembled and see if I can do it in the 15 or so minutes that they quote on the website. Now, when I opened the box, this is how everything appeared. Everything was wrapped up in bubble wrap. I haven't touched anything at this point. I was assuming and expecting to see a little bit more foam padding and protection to keep things from moving around in transport. So that's maybe some feedback for recess to improve on for future deliveries. Once everything was taken out of the box though, and I looked at the instructions, the actual assembly process was pretty straightforward. Um, I will say if you've got someone that can possibly help you stabilize the base while you put on the arms and the legs and the wheels and all that kind of stuff, um, definitely call them over to give you a hand. If you've done chair assembly though by yourself in the past, you shouldn't have any issues. The one small thing that I will say was a bit of a pain was putting in the headrest with the screws. They were just not necessarily grabbing into the thread very well that was probably the part that I got stuck on as you can see here in the footage I was like doing it one way then I tipped over the chair to do it another way um, but that's probably the only thing that I had a bit of a struggle with which was putting on the headrest but overall it was a pretty straightforward process oh all right Whew. okay five ten about 18 minutes to get that done and that is pretty much it, about 18 minutes, pretty good. Alrighty, so as you can see, the chair is done and it's assembled. Took me roughly about 20 minutes and that's with me using a cordless drill to put some of those bolts in. But overall, the actual process wasn't too bad. The instructions, very simple, um, six steps, but funny enough, like literally this is the manual that you get in the, in the box. It's very, very simple, well illustrated, but it's step one, two, three, three, four, five. I think they've kind of stuffed up maybe a little bit. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe someone can tell me, but I think it should be one, two, three, four, five, six. That's just my opinion. But other than that, the actual process was pretty simple. Um, some feedback off, you know, straight off the cuff is that, you know, all of the packaging, all of the stuff that goes into the box and how it was wrapped and put together, you know, I couldn't see any damage, although I would have liked to have seen maybe a little bit more packaging and care, especially when I initially just opened the box, everything was kind of just like there, like the arms were just like sitting there. Like there was no way that, you know, if let's say the box was being tumbled or maybe taken from a truck, 
to another truck, to a van, that if someone wasn't too careful, that some of those parts might be moving around and possibly risk you know, puncturing or you know, scratching uh, the fabric because this is a mesh chair, or maybe even puncturing the actual side of the box. And the cardboard box wasn't that thick. So maybe just maybe um, some extra thick cardboard if it's possible, or maybe a little bit of a, I don't know, relook at how it's all packaged and put in might be something to consider for the future. But other than that, all of the plastics are really nice. Like this is a white one, so I was kind of expecting to see some marks or you know some little abrasions here or there. But overall, it's a really nice soft kind of like eggshell white color. And there was no real marks or anything like that. The armrests are gray on the top where you actually put your arms, which I like because I imagine if that was white as well, or maybe a lighter color that, you know, any sort of arm sweat or oils that would change the color over time. So I hope that's the reason why they've gone with the gray, but I think white, gray and orange actually goes together pretty well. Now for the actual base, the actual base is like a thick, nice cushion and they've actually won some awards or sorry, not won some awards. They've actually been certified um, or this chair has passed certification. I don't know how to word it, but basically you can sit on this chair for a long time and essentially not get a sore bum. And it is a really nice, cushy, comfy, foam with a nice texture on the outside of the fabric where it feels like my my skin you know it's kind of hard to see but um you know my skin isn't actually causing um any discomfort on my end at all and i'm usually wearing shorts and i've got pretty hairy legs and so sitting at home some chairs do give me some drama but overall this cushion's pretty good and then we've got a bit of a mesh weave on the back here so for example in hot days like you know we're experiencing right now in sydney australia or anywhere where you might be in a warmer climate that mesh back is definitely something that i'm never going to compromise on on any of my chairs because it really does allow you know any air that you have circulating in the room whether it be a fan or an air conditioner to actually pass through and actually keep you nice and cool now, obviously, being an ergonomic office chair, you've got a bunch of different ways that you can change it to get it set up and configured the way that you want. So, obviously, you can go ahead and twist. There's a little thing here, which I'll show you in a second, um, a little knob that you can twist to put the chair down if you want to put it down. If you want to raise it, you just sort of slightly stand up and twist it the opposite direction, and sort of that gas lift raises the chair back up. I'm about 100, and, I think, 78 centimeters, 5 foot 10, something like that. And at its maximum, my position with my feet being firmly planted on the ground, um, I've got about four finger widths behind my knee going back to the chair, which is pretty much what you want to be actually sitting in an ergonomic position. So have to say they've got a pass, but I think if you're maybe a little bit taller, maybe if you're six foot plus, maybe look at maybe a different chair that's out there, because I feel like it doesn't go up high enough if you are that tall, but your mileage may vary. Now for the armrests, they go back and forward and they have like a bit of a ratchet system there so they will stay you know, in the position that you want. They can also be swiveled in. Um, that's pretty much as far as they go, not too far, probably what's that, 10, 15 degrees, and then out maybe 15 degrees as well. And then you can obviously have them centered. I don't believe they go any other way other than that. And then you can raise and lower the armrests independently of each other as well. There's like a little button here, so you just click in the button and you can just lower it and raise it just like that pretty pretty simple then on this left side you've got another knob here so if you want to go ahead and you know relax or recline a little bit more like i've got it kind of set almost straight up but if you essentially disengage the back with that knob and you can actually just go ahead and lean all the way back and there is a bit of lumbar support here as well and i believe you can actually go ahead and adjust it there's like little sliders just back here that you can move around so you get a bit more support on your lumbar which i can actually feel it's actually pretty good um, but then if you want to go ahead and recline you can just recline like so now if you want to actually go ahead and leave it in a set position like i might want to have it you know maybe not vertical but maybe like a 10 or 15 degree angle you can actually just reach down lock it in and it will stay at that angle so that way when you hop in the chair it's always locked in it's not gonna you know 
go back further than that, but it will just stay at your lock position. And then if you want to go ahead and you know release it again, you can go all the way back. And that's probably about as far as you can go. And I think that's probably about 35, 40 degrees, something like that from vertical, but actually pretty comfy. And I can feel that lumbar support the whole way through. So let me just, so what I'm going to do now is spend the next seven nights or so playing games, doing all of my work from home, sitting in this chair on average for, you know, minimum four hours each day. So I can make some notes, make some comments about this chair and anything that I felt or noticed. So that way you guys can actually make an informed decision about whether or not this chair is right for you. So I'll, Leave it here and I'll come back to you guys in a moment with my conclusion. So on average, I was sitting in this chair for around about eight hours a day. And as you can see, I like to change the lights every single day that I work as well. I'm not sure about you guys, but is anybody else like that? They like to change the lights. Let me know in the comments. Okay, so conclusion time. This chair is actually really, really good value for money, in my opinion, for 445 Aussie dollars. It's not just, I guess, me saying it's good value because it's, an ergonomic adjustable chair and that's basically it. It's actually more to do with the construction and the way it's all put together and the foam and how it all feels after using it for a week because when you compare to some more ergonomic chairs in this category that offer this amount of uh, flexibility and also some really premium materials to make it comfortable, you know, you're normally looking at paying six, seven hundred dollars plus depending on the brand that you decide to buy from. But for $445, the fact that you get adjustable armrests that come up and down that feel quite nice, they can angle in and angle out, you can push them forward, push them back, so you've got a lot of adjustability there. You've got a really nice ergonomic support in the lower back and you can sort of, you know, get it positioned to where you need that support. And then the actual base itself, um, the cushion is actually really, really good. It springs back to life. And I was sitting in this chair for like eight hours a day. So I was kind of expecting that after a while that it would start to mold and, I don't know, shape to my butt a little bit. But the actual foam is really, really comfortable where I never felt like after three, four hours that I needed to get up and, you know, stretch and move around a little bit. Although you should always be moving, um, you know, every hour or so. But the actual you know, cushion was really good. Um, the fact that you can go ahead and adjust, you know, so you can lean back or you can lock it in. Um, so, you know, something like that is actually really cool as well. And then you can lock it into a certain position if you want to just have it constantly add a little bit more of a recline. But for me personally, I like to have it actually just straight up. It keeps my back and my core um, nice and I guess supported. And then the fact that you can also use this little lever here and actually move the base in and out which is a little bit difficult to do. I will, a little bit difficult, I will admit. Um, it's a little bit stiff sometimes, but the fact that you can go ahead and adjust, 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 adjust the depth a little bit so you can actually get your butt right back into the chair. And for me, there's only about three fingers worth of actual distance between the back of my knee and the front edge, which is where it's supposed to be. And overall, I think it's just a really, really good chair. I love the, I love the way that it's, you know, um, aesthetically matching the rest of my setup in my room. My PC is kind of a, a white and orange theme. The microphone is kind of like a white and gold. So aesthetically, I think it looks really nice. I don't know how the white's going to hold up and the orange is going to hold up over time, like as sweat and oils and other marks and things like that, um, you know, beginning to affect the look of the chair. But, you know, I've got high hopes that this chair is going to last a while. The negatives, um, not negatives, I think opportunities is the word to use, right, is the fact that putting in the headrest was a real pain in the ass, to be honest with you. Um, the little screws that, you know, hold this headrest in place are really, really difficult to get in. Um, the packaging of the actual chair itself could be, I think, a little bit better, especially if this chair is going to be shipped across the country and maybe go through multiple trucks and vans. I mean, I'm sure the recess guys probably have way more experience in terms of how to ship things than I do, but I personally would have liked to have seen a little bit more packaging inside of the box to make sure that things didn't get damaged because you don't want to wait a week or two or three and then it turn up and then it's got a, you know, a tear in the chair or a mark that you want to now have to send it back and get a return or something. That's just something that I think could be easily fixed. Um, this slider for the base of the chair, so when you pull this little latch out, um, it is a little bit stiff and maybe that will just get better over time. Um, maybe 
maybe it's one of those things where once you set it and forget it, it doesn't really matter. But I think that could be a little bit better. And the instructions for how to adjust things. Um, it's a little bit funny, right? Because if you open up the box and you look at the manual that comes included, it's kind of just very cheap, one piece of paper, as you guys saw. But then when you go into the website, it's this really nice graphically designed manual with a lot more information, a lot more steps. And I think what they should do is just print that manual out and put it in the box with the chair and people and users will not have any issues at all getting the chair assembled and then maybe a quick little video on their website or something that you can scan a QR code just to show users how to actually get the most out of the chair so it's positioned and set up properly for them because a lot of people probably haven't had a lot of experience with ergonomics and how to set up chairs correctly I myself didn't really necessarily know too much about how to position it and set it up properly and I had to sort of go through um, a few different websites to find, okay, what is actually the proper position I should be setting up my chair in to feel properly supported. So that's kind of just more of like the, the finishing details if you like, um, but overall the construction, how it feels, the support, aesthetics, Everything else is just really, really good. And considering we're here here in a really hot Aussie summer at the moment, having this mesh back that allows the air to come through is a big added bonus. So if you are looking for a chair and you know you want to spend around that three to five hundred dollar mark, check out Recess. They've got some really cool chairs on their website. You don't have to get the the pro model like I've got. There are models that are a little bit more affordable um, that still offer a lot of support and adjustability. They've also got desks and a whole bunch of other stuff. So I'll leave links to this chair their website all down in the video description i really think you should check them out if you are in the market and other than that guys i don't really have anything else to say so big thank you to recess for giving me the opportunity to review this chair and check it out for you guys if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section down below and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one cheers